Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall... ...and knowing it was my responsibility... Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. I'm not willing to bank this whole war on a hope and a prayer. Well, truth is, we could use a bit of both right now. Shake this off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Just double checking our inventories. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. If you're trying to make me feel better, it's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. You want to hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. Ready when you are. Hey, Commander. Hey there. Have you found your store in Thessia yet? No. I'm trying to word it right. What happens if you word it wrong? If I'm lucky, the Citadel Stock Exchange drops 2,000 extra points. And if you're unlucky? I don't know. Never really been unlucky. Commander. Nothing to report. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd appreciate- Hey! Settle down. My home was just destroyed, and all he can do is gloat! Given what's happened today, I think you owe Liara an apology, Javik. Apologize for the truth? 
for not doing more. You're a Prothean. You were supposed to have all the answers. How could you not stop this from happening? We believed you would. Long ago, we saw the potential in your people. Even then, it was obvious. The wisdom, the patience. You were the best hope for this cycle. So you were guided when necessary. Well, it didn't work. You're still alive, aren't you? Your world may have fallen, but as long as even one Asari is left standing, the fight isn't over. I guess that goes for Protheans, too. Despair is the enemy's greatest weapon. Do not let them wield it. Liara Tsuni. That was... unexpected. Thank you. We still need her talents. If grief overcomes her, she will be lost to us. So did you actually mean what you said? Does it matter? Liara's been a good friend to me. It matters. Then I will tell you what you want to hear. I meant what I said. Carry on. It was good to see another of my kind. Even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. I suffered many defeats in the last war, Commander. Let this loss be the fuel that powers your rage. Commander. like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan... I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just regained my homeworld. She just lost hers. Well, I don't have any magic words. She needs time. Maybe call her later. She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. How bad? I've never seen Liara like this. I'll go talk to Liara. Thanks, Shepard. I'm sorry, Shepard. You all right? I'm fine. Liara? I don't know. Okay. I'll talk to her. Thanks. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. I guess we know what Liara's going through. Just thinking about Earth, you know? What a waste. Shepard? Thanks, Shepard. How are you, Commander? Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. That's fantastic. That must be a weight off your shoulders. It is. Though this being a war, one burden replaces another. What happened? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. 
He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before a certain Turian with no romantic skills to speak of tries to cheer you up. Cheer? Coming from you? Mm. Mood swings. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. Not something you can ever get used to. Seeing a world go down like that. Thousands of years of civilization on fire. But it wasn't your fault. Tessia was already gone by the time we got there. And maybe the elusive man did win one, but so what? I've lost a few fights in my time, and I'm still here. It's because I always made sure that... A battle doesn't make a war, Shepard. We're still in this. Have you checked on Liara? She must be devastated. That's not something you ever forget. Shepard, this is when you take all your anger and frustration, bottle it up, then use it to rearrange every molecule in Kai Lang's body. You'll get your chance. Maybe later. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I... hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization? The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along, and I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. Liara, you had nothing to do with the attack on Thessia. Nothing to do with it? I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? None. Shepard, that isn't true. You've been warning your people for four years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this. To start again. We lost Thessia. But we haven't lost the Asari yet. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. I need some time, Shepard. What will happen to the Asari now? The Council should have evacuated Thessia earlier. Pleasure to see you. 
Hopefully she's doing better now. Thanks for talking to her. Neither of us knew what to say. There's not much we can say. But being there helps. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks for listening, Commander. It was a good idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. In any event... Good luck. Commander? If we don't finish that Crucible soon, there won't be a galaxy left to save. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. I'm not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. Hello, Shepard. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Too soon? You're a damn good pilot, Joker, and I put up with a lot because of that. But we are in the middle of a war. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on, Commander. So why the jokes? Because Edie says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like more than Elysium, where it was pretty much you versus 10,000 Batarians trying to kill you. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. The guy leading the Resistance on Earth is worried about you. And I'm supposed to help. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. And it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. Because you had to come back for me. I couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We got work to do. Commander, 